Hey guys, it's me, I'm back. I am coming to you from the land of the sick. I am not feeling that great. It has been like weeks and it's so weird. We've all been sick, but I really wanted to get this uh, video up because I have a ton, like this is probably the biggest haul I've ever done. Um, I have a ton of stuff to show you, um, mainly, mainly from the uh, Sephora sale. And I know it's still going on. I believe it goes on till like the 24th or something like that. And you can order multiple times. I don't know, a lot of you probably already know that. I knew that, unfortunately, but you can order multiple times. So just just, you know in case you're figuring out um, what you you know you haven't placed your order yet I wanted to get this video before the sale was over sometimes I've even ordered the morning of the day after the sale ends and the code still works just so you know um, <laughs> but yeah I have my tissues here I excuse me I just threw on some lipstick and um, a little eyeliner and mascara and I was like it's go time I literally just woke up from my son's nap I took his nap with him I still have sheet marks on the side of my face but this is dedication because I want to show you this stuff and I have more than the Sephora sale stuff for you I have a whole nother box here of uh, stuff to show you now mainly my philosophy just really quick before I get into the the, the showcase. Um, my philosophy is um, with the Sephora sales, they have two major sales a year. In the winter time, in that, that sale, I get makeup, but the spring sale for me is always about skincare because the spring sale comes uh, weeks before my birthday. And every year on my birthday, I start looking at my skin and I'm like, what's going on here? Because, you know, a lot of us have really great skin, um, you know, hereditary, you know, like that. But I feel like you got to, you know, pump things up and give hereditary a hand. Um, you, you know, your hereditary gifts a hand, let's say. And um, so I'm really, really into skincare. And around March, about two months ago, like March, uh, no, yeah. No, two months ago, March, see, you can tell I'm sick. I can't even tell. Anyway, uh, beginning of March, uh, late um, February, I started really following a lot of um, YouTubers that are into skincare and doing skincare reviews and a lot of blogs and a lot of Instagrammers. Um, and I have a whole lot of things that I got based on, you know, <clears throat> their recommendations, reading reviews, that kind of a thing. So I just wanted to let you know that's what's going on. And the major thing to let you know is, is what my kind of what I did last year and what I did uh, to another degree, a, a bigger degree this year is it really worked really well last year. Last year I wasn't on um, YouTube of course, but what I did is I got enough skincare I thought that would last me for a year. So I didn't have to buy any throughout the year, you know, not anything too major, you know, things were sent to me, that kind of thing. But um, and it really worked well because I'm left with like right now I have like two cleansers left that's it you know so it really worked I have like the Sunday Riley cleanser and that kind of a thing and um yeah so the ceramic slip I think it is called uh, but anyway I have like it was great so I filled my cabinet I got enough here to fill my cabinets up and what I'll do is I'll put a picture on Instagram um, for you um, so if you'd like to see how I have everything organized in my skincare cabinets I do it you know every shelf is you know has a certain types of products on it I'll put that up and you know so you can slide and see all the skincare um, and see where all this stuff landed I think that might be of interest to some of you in case you're you know wondering how to organize your stuff and you want to see um, so just in case you're interested but what I'm gonna do is start with the makeup because um, in case you're not interested in skincare maybe you're like 20 and you don't even need to worry about it but um, in case you're um, in, not interested in skincare I'll start with the makeup and then that way you can go ahead and move on out um, and go about your business and your beautiful skin but if you're like me you might want to pay attention and one of the things that um, I like to do and I wanted to get this up another reason is is because when I watch hauls my big thing is the why like why did you get it what did you hear who else uses that kind of a thing and I like to give you guys a little bit about the why of you know with um, hauls and stuff like that the why I got it and skincare I think it's especially important because what you've heard what you've seen what you know is kind Kind of you know important um, when it comes to this stuff so excuse me if I do um, wipe my nose a little bit I know that's really really gross but like I said guys I really wanted to get this up and you know I love you know having something up for you all to watch on the weekends in case you're like me and you love to watch videos so I'm sorry for the long introduction but I wanted to give you some reasons for this uh, monstrosity of a haul let's say <laughs> okay so here so here we go and I'm gonna start with the makeup, like I said. Um, 
This is a product that has uh, I've talked about before in years past. Um, this is from Becca, and I love that they have the smaller version of it um, because I think that's nice. I had a large version um, that they sent to me, and I used when it came out, and I was so into it. This is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector, and you can get this now. It's in a smaller size. It's uh, 12 mLs or point. Four zero ounces so this is like enough to get you through the summer and it's a really great if you have an oily t-zone like me oily skin it's a really great primer to use before your foundation so definitely pick that up another Becca product that I picked up I wanted to try one of their uh, blushes they came out Oh gosh, months and months and months ago, but I didn't, um, you know, get any of them. And they're these luminous blushes, shimmering skin perfector, luminous blush. And I got it in the shade Snapdragon. And I saw this in, I believe it was Ellery. I hope I'm saying her name right. I love her videos. And um, she does really, really nice makeup tutorials. And I saw her use this blush and I was like, oh my gosh. And she's one of those people that is kind of like a skin twin to me. <laughs> so, um... I was like, oh, let me try this. <laughs> so yeah, I stole some of Santino's wipes um, to do swatches for this today. I'm sorry about the lighting. The lighting is going to be off because it's a very rainy day, unfortunately. Um, yesterday there was more sunlight, but I didn't, um, I was going to do the video yesterday, but I was unable to. I still, my voice still wasn't that great. Um, so anyway, that looks gorgeous. It looked so gorgeous on her skin. So if you're my skin tone, next time you are at Sephora, if you want to go ahead and try it, try Snapdragon. It looks really, really nice on our skin tone. Um, next, this is the new mascara from Dior. And I haven't met a Dior mascara that I haven't liked. And I thought this one was really nice and hokey. I love hokey stuff. I love trying hokey stuff, especially for you guys. I'm like, oh, it gives me like a new reason to get into it because I'm like, they might want to know. Um, this is the Dior Show Pump and Volume Mascara. Of course, I got it in the shade black and this is like squeezable. So let me show you so you can see it right here, but you can squeeze the tube. Is that weird or what? Pump and volume. So I'll definitely be testing that out. Um, pump and volume. I'm like, what in the world can you do? But your mascaras for me generally, I think there's only one that I haven't been so super excited about, but the rest of them like blackout, um, the length, the curling one. Oh my gosh, really, really amazing results. This is just nostalgic. And I did get this um, actually from the Tarte website because I get their discount, but it is sold. I saw it's on the Sephora website. It's the uh, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And I got two of them. And uh, in the shade black, I love this mascara. I've used it for years, but this packaging. Holy moly, had to get it without a doubt. Amazing packaging, like unicorn packaging. I couldn't say no. Couldn't say no. This is new to me and I heard great things about it. Um, I am into uh, primers for mascara, um, but I tend not to like the white ones. And this is a black one. It's from Estee Lauder. It's the little, bra the little Black Primer. And I saw a couple people, Kathleen Leitz, a couple other people really like this primer and it's black, so I was into it. Um, it it is really good. I heard uh, using it alone, people were happy with it, as well as it really built up the mascara if they used it um, before their favorite mascara. So I'm going to be testing it out both ways. A lot of people said it was nice using it just, you know, by itself, just to tint your lashes a little bit. That's not really a look I go for. If I'm doing mascara, I'm doing mascara. You know, it's either all or nothing. So uh, I'm most likely going to be going to be interested in this, you know, underneath my favorite mascaras, and I'll let you know how that goes. Um, next, we have some NARS products. Um, I wasn't going to get this, but I decided to go ahead because I was very interested in finding out if it was different um, or it, as good as the Radiant Concealer. NARS has Radiant Concealer, and I'm on my second container of it. I really, really love it. And this is the uh, new Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade I wear in the Radiant Concealer's Amand. And I got it in the same shade, of course. So I'm going to be testing this out. And when you say Soft Matte Concealer, I'm really like... I, I really wonder what this is going to feel like. I hope it's not going to be too drying because a lot of times in the under eye area, there's a swatch of it. A lot of times in the under eye area, you really don't want, um, you don't want anything to be drying down there because usually that's, you know, an issue. Like a lot of people don't want a dry under eye area. I like a product like the Radiant Concealer that is just, um, you know, 
creamy enough to be able to set it the way I want it to be and everything like that, but it is not drying in any way. A lot of people think the Tarte um, Shape Tape is uh, drying, and I just don't find that when I use it, but you know, you, you, that's why you test things out, you know, to see how they are and uh, whether it's a good fit for your skin type, the shade and everything like that. I'm not too concerned about the shade. I think the shade's gonna be fine, but um, you know, I'm just wondering about, you know, what it's gonna do for my under eye area as far as it's gonna dry me out. Now this, I was really excited about. This is their new palette and it is called the uh, Loaded Eyeshadow Palette from NARS. And, um, Okay, when I say I was really excited, let me just go back a little bit. I looked at it online and I was like, this looks nice. I wasn't too, but I got to tell you what I am excited about. I've seen some amazing tutorials with uh, on YouTube with this palette. So that's what I'm excited about. Let me just tell you that. Um, in fact, I was on the fence about getting this at all, but I saw like two really good tutorials and I was like, Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get that. Uh, because so definitely take a look if you're on the fence about it and before the sale is over, take a look at some tutorials. There's a lot of them and I was just blown away because it's not like a palette where you're like, oh my God, that's amazing, blah, 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 blah. It's more of a palette like I can use that every day. So it's one of those, it turns out, even though it didn't look to me at first to be one of those, it turns out to be a really good like everyday palette with a touch of glam to it that like is right up my alley. So I was really, I was really pleasantly surprised by that and went ahead and picked it up. Um, this I didn't get from um, Sephora. This was the 28 Days of Beauty that Ulta had. I needed a new eyelash curler and I hadn't tried this one and this one has great reviews. And I feel like Sephora, I feel like I put this in my Sephora likes list before, but it's not there now and I don't know if they carry this anymore. Anyway, it was really, really weird. So I went ahead and got it because it was like half price. I got it for like $11 instead of like, I believe it was 22. So that's from the 20, um, 21 Days of Beauty from Ulta, not from Sephora. All right, we are getting into the skincare, ladies. So um, if you are just into the makeup, go ahead and check on out. I love you, love you, love you lots. Um, next video, I will definitely not be sick. Uh, but let me go ahead and get into some skincare with you guys because this has me really, really excited and there's a lot of good stuff here um, that I've heard about and a lot of stuff I wanted to try. And so remember, if you didn't listen to the whole run through um, before and you just skipped to where the haul started in the video, I got enough skincare for me for like I should be good for a year until the next Sephora sale in spring. Um, that's when I'll load up again. I love the way it worked last year. That's the last I'll say about it. I'll just go into the products. All right, first product I got from a, comp a, a brand that I have never tried before. It's called Blythe, and I, but I heard good things about them. These were a lot of, let me just explain to you really quick. Um, a lot of this is uh, based on, I, I've been really checking out a lot of Korean skincare, which has been amazing. So some of these products, not all of them, some of these products are based on that. This is one of them. Um, this is a uh, soothing and healing green tea. Um, it's a mask. It's for oil control and pore refining. And it's so amazing to me because, okay, you get a decent amount in here. This is like gonna go in my shower. And let me explain why. All you do is you put a cap full into your palms in the shower and splash and pat it on to your skin for 15 seconds. Use, um, and then, you know, that's, it, it really like moisturizes your, moisturizes, balances, and deep cleanses your face. So I've never tried a product like that before in my life, so I'm really excited to try it. And it just says on here, for oil control and clarifying pores. Um, so really excited to use this. I was excited by how much you get in here because this is seven ounces. So I was like, ooh, 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 ooh. This is a decent amount of product. I like that. Another thing that I had found out, and a friend of mine um, had as sent me a link to these. Um, these products, there's a lot of brands I didn't realize were on Sephora right now, as well as Ulta. They have a lot of really different um, skincare brands that weren't there before, and I had fun exploring them. You can even go on the Sephora um, app and do Korean skincare and they'll bring you up all of these different things and there were a lot of the things that I was looking for were in there. Um, so this is the J1 Jelly Pack. Now there's another pack and it's 
a white bottle. This is the black one. Or, no, wait a minute. I think this is the white one. Um, but this is one of those things that was um, inspired and made by, or made by, inspired by an actress who wanted to be, this is the white one. There is a black one as well. I didn't get the black one. I really wanted it. These are like 47 each. I was like, let me just start with one. Um, but this is a dramatic firming skin um, with improved elasticity and pore smoothing. Um, it's 1.69 ounces. Basically what this does is, is it's, a pro, it's a makeup gripper and it combines a morning mask, lifting treatment, and primer all in one. Okay? Can, all of that. I'm like, if you do all of that, I'm going to be excited. But it was for this actress that didn't want to put like layers of product on her face before she started it on her makeup. So she wanted something that would be like a primer, a kind of a skin treatment, and um, kind of get her skin perfectly prepped and then the, put the makeup right on. So I'm like, oh, I am trying this. Um, so definitely I checked out the reviews on both of these products. All of these Sephora products, I checked out the reviews. And I love the way you can sort it by your skin type. Did you know you can do that with the Sephora reviews on the app? It's really, really nice. You can do it by your skin type. Now here are some Sunday Riley products. Um, I got the Blue Moon Cleansing Cream. A uh, cleansing balm, excuse me. I've always wanted to try that. The cleansing balm. I heard a rumor it was getting discontinued, but I was like, I want to try it before it's discontinued. Um, cleansing balms are getting really, really huge. And the only ones I've ever tried, the only one I've ever tried, I have two uh, containers now that were sent to me from It Cosmetics. And I really like their cleansing balm, but I wanted to branch out and try some other ones. Um, I also got Tidal, which is a Sunday Riley product. This is a brightening enzyme water cream. And I had heard good things about this. I got a sample of this and um, I really did like my sample. So I was excited to go ahead and try Tidal. Um, and it, it was really it's supposed to be good as a moisturizer and everything like that. I was worried would it be good for my combination skin, but I really got, my skin got along really well with the uh, sample. So I was, I was like, let me go ahead and do this. Um, let me give you some more moisturizers here. Um, this is from Belief, and this is the True Cream Aqua Bomb. Now, there's another clean, uh, excuse me, moisturizer that's better if you have like dry skin, um, but this is the one if you have combination or oily skin. Um, so this is uh, very heavy. I like that. It's uh, 1.68 ounces, and it is oh, look at that. It has right on here increased hydration level. Anyway, so it's the Aqua Bomb. So it's I love the um, one of the things that I use that got me into them. Is is, uh, they have a really great sheet mask called Aqua Bomb, and I bought a couple of those. I think I showed you some in a haul, but I really like that. And this is uh, supposed to be really, really um, nice for my skin type, so I definitely wanted to try that. Um, here's some Drunken Elephant products. Now, I've only tried their, uh, I got a sample of their um, product that's like Good Jeans. Uh, I believe, I forget what it's called, Glycolic something. Um, and I liked it, but I am such a big Good Jeans fan, and I have an almost new one um it's only got missing like about that much so i didn't get that at the sale this year i, I had gotten that um because i ran out already i couldn't go without it so i had gotten that already but um i definitely um didn't so i didn't get their product their uh treatment that's like good jeans but i wanted to try a couple of their other treatments and um i got their b hydra intensive hydration gel and you'll notice a theme like with the aqua bomb this is like a gel cream yeah i think that's what it says um but anyway one of the things i've noticed in my skin that i really have uh taken kind of in the back of my head and thought oh my gosh you know this is true my skin seems to love gel products whatever it is gel works for my skin and it started three years ago with Genius Gel, which I'm right wearing right now. That's the Marc Jacobs Foundation. It is like my end-all, be-all. So everything gel I'm into, um, and I notice my skin never rejects, always takes to, and I guess it's the lightness of a gel product. Um, so I thought this would work for me. It's the uh, Hydration Gel um, from Drunk Elephant, and I like their packaging. You twist it, and it goes up. Yeah, you twist it, and then Thing. Let me do it against me so you can see you twist it and it goes up, it pops up. So that's very, very good. Um, I like that for sanitary reasons. And, you know, just to, you know, it's really good, you know, depending on your skincare products, you don't want to be dipping in a big old tub of stuff because that just, it lessens the effectiveness of it. Um, is from, you know, when I've um, 
learned in my skincare uh, checking out things journey. Um, but anyway, the other product that I really was excited to try is the Sea Firma Day Serum from Drunken Elephant. <laughs> from Drunken Elephant. From Drunk Elephant. <laughs> I've been saying that this whole time. My sickness is going to make this funny to edit. I know that already. Um, so anyway, this is a vitamin C product. And you know I love vitamin C, but I always use the same vitamin C product bottle after bottle, year after year, and it's from Ole Hendrickson, and I decided, let me just branch out. I got two different C products. I'll show you the other one next. Um, but this is a vitamin C product to use during the day, and um, I'm really excited about this because so many people have told me that I needed to check this out, and I finally, finally am doing it. Oh, oh. Okay, so the other vitamin C product I decided to check out just released, and it's the Sunday Riley CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. So this is like, in comparison to the product I just showed you, it's just a different container. Um, oh, it's not just a different, I don't know the differences between the product. I'm going to test them out. But... Um, you might not, basically what I'm trying to tell you is, is if you're looking for a vitamin C product, you can choose either. You don't have to get enough for a year like me, um, which I hope is a year. It's all a guesstimate for me with this stuff, but I'm trying to get the better part of a year's uh, skincare taken care of. They both seem to have 15%, yeah, 15% of the uh, vitamin C. So, yep, so I got this too. <clears throat> Let me close that sucker. Oh, I forgot one makeup product. I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you about the foundation I got. I did get a foundation. It's the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. It is um, a foundation I was interested in getting because I had heard that it was mattifying. So I was like, whoa, shucky shucky now. That's the magic word for me, right? Um, I got shade 11, I was guessing. And wow, that looks really good. I just pumped it out. That looks like it's gonna be a very, that could possibly be a match, but let me just show you what it looks like um, swatched on my hand. Uh, there it is, right there in the middle. So I will definitely be telling you about that. Yep, yep, yep. So I got one foundation. Ha uh ha. -huh. You're like, gosh, you didn't get any foundation? Some of you were saying that. You didn't get any foundation? Yeah, I'm, I have enough of my Marc Jacobs. I already, I just got into my backup of my Marc Jacobs Genius Gel. I had a backup from a while ago, and um, I finally just cracked it open not too long ago, so I was good on that. Okay, this product I was interested in trying out. It's an overnight detox oil. Um... And I had heard really good things from this. I think this was like a Stephanie uh, Nicole purchase uh, <laughs> recommendation. She talked very well about this oil. And I also read the uh, reviews uh, for people with my skin type, the combination skin type, and they really, really liked it. So I um, wanted to try that out because, as I said before, I have always just done the... Um, vitamin C oil and my skin loves oil so I wanted to branch out and try some different oils okay I have to do a deep bend and get into this box here just a second all right this is another company from the people that I have the shower mask that I told you about this is the pressed serum from them now they have two different serums and this is the one that's supposed to be best for my skin type oh it has a little I like that. It has well, for sanitary reasons. It's a pressed serum. Now I told you all about the um, Alginist uh, pressed serum. That was the first one I had ever tried. It's called Power. I had told you guys about that. So this is another pressed serum for me to try. And I think I like pressed serums. It's uh, called Crystal Ice Plant. And again, this is the one that's really good for my um, skin type. The other one is better if you have, you know, a normal or drier skin. So there is another version if you have a different skin type of me. Another uh, press serum to try from this brand if you have a def different skin type than me. But yeah, I will definitely be letting you know about that. I think I love that because it's press serums are interesting because it's like they combine um, serum and moisturizer in one thing. So you can kind of slap it on and you're kind of done with your skin routine for the night. At least I am. So I thought that was uh, worth trying another one. <clears throat> this I heard great things um, in the reviews, and also it just made just made my decision to get it during the sell easier when Tara Baby Z said she loves it. Um, this is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. 
she said great things about this really liking it. I think she got a couple of them um, but yeah definitely wanted to try this cleansing balm in addition to the uh, blue moon from Sunday Riley uh, the other thing uh, that I got is Clinique's moisture surge fa face spray <sighs> The thing about my skin, and you might notice from my purchases as I go along here with the skincare, is is I have uh, an oily T zone, but the rest of my face tends to be dry um, a lot of the year, other than you know deep summer. And the other thing that I'm always hearing is about how dehydrated my skin is. So I'm going to try to correct that. I've been infusing a lot more moisture into my skin, and I really am liking the results because what's happening is is my skin is um, becoming. I feel like less, you know, it, it's just plumping up a little more and looking a lot healthier um, because I'm infusing more moisturizer, moisture into it. Like you know, those sheet masks, I do a lot of moisturizing, hydrating, like the Aqua Bomb sheet mask. And I just love the way they like plump up my skin and are making it more healthy. And I'm noticing there's less greasiness in my T-zone. So um, this is a spray, um, a moisture spray um, that I thought I would try. Now, Tata, is it Tata Harper? I'd heard great things about her products and I wanted to try a couple of them. So I, I got them, I got them. I got like everything I wanted to try and they're all cleansers. Um, this is the Regenerating Cleanser. It's a daily exfoliating and clarifying treatment. Um, previously, um, I would say most of this year I used um, a kind of a scrub from um, a, like uh, Philosophy, I finished one of those, um, the, their micro cleanser, and um, another one, what is it, from L'Oreal. So I was like, okay, I can get another one of these because those are kind of uh, on the fence. There isn't much of them left. So I like to use that. That really, I like using that in the morning. That really wakes my skin up. You know, something with some like exfoliating beads in it. I kind of like. Um, I also wanted to try her purifying cleanser. I'd heard wonderful things about this. I had been hearing about this all year, um, in the last year, let's say, not just 2017. In the last, I would say, year since I got my skincare. I've been like taking notes <laughs> on things that people like um, when I'm watching videos. But this is the purifying cleanser, and it's a pore refining daily detail detox wash so I wanted to try that this is a 4.1 ounce um, you know so there's not a ton here I so I will be <laughs> uh, this is why this stuff will last a year but you know because I got multiple things but the uh, the uh, regenerating cleanser is 4.1 as well now this is 4.1 as well and this is the oil cleanser so I'm really into I like I, I'm trying as you can see some different cleansing bombs from the it the blue moon and the uh, green clean from pharmacy but I really love cleansing oils and this is her nourishing oil cleanser and um, definitely wanted to try that um, because I love to go in with a cleansing oil and I'm kind of getting into the bombs um, I do love the it but I like to do that first either a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm and then you know a regular cleanser um, I had heard wonderful things about speaking of cleansers this cleanser this is from uh, what is it youth to the people kale and green tea spinach vitamins age prevention cleanser so I heard great things about this and I definitely want wanted to try that so that's what that looks like and how much is in here what's it say on here eight ounces eight ounces it has a pump oh, there it is it just dropped um but it has a pump so there we go with that wanted to try that i heard really good things about that i use uh i have a foreo as well as a clarisonic and i was sent that new clarisonic and i got a new um brush head for this it it is the uh lux cashmere cleanse it's softer so i wanted to try a softer one i don't use my clarisonic every day or twice a day like you know they say or do they say twice a day anyway i don't use it uh but a couple times a week but when i do use it with cleanser i really um like it to be gentle and i have the um i believe i have the sensitive head on it now but i wanted to try this cashmere cleanse one because it's supposed to be even even softer and i thought that might be nice it might even help me use it more um it looks different wow i just opened it up for the first time i didn't open most of this stuff so yeah that's those uh the brush yeah this is longer than usual um so yeah i'll be interested to try that out and see how that works these are not cheap i mean they're like 30 dollars. it was like 30 dollars for this you get your discount and everything but i was like 30 dollars um i also got the uh, facial treat this was hard for me because i love sk2 products are you surprised i said it right 
I found a thing on the internet, um, a page on the internet, and it tells you how to say all the high-end brand, the, the hard to say brands names. And I looked this one up and it was like SK2. I was like, all right. Um, but I love their stuff. I started getting their stuff last summer and I started with one product and then I got, I started with their essence and I loved it. And then I got their toner and I absolutely love it. It's amazing. And, um, so I've been adding products time and time again, and I end up loving each one. This is, so, but this was hard for me because this is like the most expensive cleansing oil I've ever purchased. It's a facial treatment cleansing oil from SK2, and I just hope it's phenomenal. Um, the ratings on it are supposed to be, you know, were really good. The reviews I got for it were really good, but I got their uh, treatment oil. I mean, if not on sale, you know, when do you get it? This was just a holy, this was just a, uh, I got another mist, uh, a spray. I told you about the uh, Clinique one, and this is not as inexpensive as this one. This one's crazy. Queen of Hungry Mist, and it's by Or more of I can't even say the name Amora Vixa. I don't know. Anyway, I got it. It's 3.4 ounces, and I had just seen it so many darn times on Instagram in people's skincare routines. I go to my explore page on Instagram and it's all like shows me skincare because that's all, I love to see people's skincare routines. But anyway, I saw this so many times, I definitely wanted to try it. It is definitely going back if it is not absolutely phenomenal because it's way too expensive. There you go, that's the story on that. Um, the next product, this is a brand I had been looking into um, because they showed up, you know, when I was looking at, uh, I believe it was Korean skincare. Um, and I, this is the product I wanted to try from them first because a lot of the other products that they had that I wanted to try were like cleansing oil, cleansing waters, things that I kind of like have a handle on and don't need. So I wanted to try this as ginseng milk. And this is again another type of product that I can put on my skin that will add moisture, like the sprays. Um, basically, it says it's inspired by Korean women's essential duo of lotions. It is the first milky step in our youthful skin ritual. Enriched with ginseng, known for its smoothing and moisturizing properties, um, it helps to provide a lightening effect and improve skin's texture. Lightening effect, I didn't know that. Um, and in fruit, so basically it's gonna give me some moisture. So I'm gonna slap this on <laughs> and uh, add some moisture. This I really wanted to try. I think this is another Stephanie Nicole thing. This is the uh, Makeup Raw Sauce. This is another essence. Now I told you just now that I am in love with the SK2's super expensive essence and uh, too much in love with it. It's so good. I, I really definitely notice a skin uh, difference on my skin with these essences and I wanted to try a couple more I got this one and then there's, there's another box and the, in the other box there's another essence but this is the one that's supposed to be pretty hydrating that she likes and I did like the reviews for it as well so I decided to go ahead and pick it up now they have a smaller version if you want to try this out I just went for the big daddy but if you want to try it out they have a smaller version which I think is so cool um, it's Acer Maple Water, so I'm gonna try that. Essences have really been a surprise and a new discovery to me and with skincare, um, because I just started over the summer and I've gotten some samples of different ones and I'm like, this is amazing how, what an effect they can have on your skin. And the SK2 one is amazing, so I wanted to try this. Another SK2 product, I should have showed you that when I did the cleansing oil, is the Facial Lift Emulsion. I wanted to try this. This is an, a moisturizing lotion. Now this is a light moisturizer. If you have dry skin, this is not gonna moisturize you out. I understood that from the reviews. But it's just another moisturizer, and I wanted to try it from them because I kind of trust their products. Um, I love the, uh, I have three that I use now, the Essence, um, the toner and uh, the masks. Their masks are phenomenal. I got a box of their masks too. That's the third product that I tried for them and fell in love with. So uh, these two, I have high hopes, but if not, they're the types of things that you return in a hurry because they are too darn expensive. Um, oh, I got this with the uh, spray, the expensive or spray. This is the thermal cleansing balm from this company as well. So I'll get to try that. And I've heard really, really good things about their uh, cleansing balm. It's black. It's a black. I believe it. Yeah, it's. It's. I believe it's a black cleansing balm. Yeah. So I'm going to try that, which would be really, really cool. Okay. So that's. I think the end of my Sephora. I also got the uh, 500 point perk that was Pericone because you know I love per Pericone products. I was uh, going to get the. Um, 
um, the, uh, what the, the stuff that I use, what is it called? I love it. Um, anyway, I didn't decide to get it. I probably should have, but it's so expensive, but it would be nice to get a dent, uh, cold plasma. I love it. Um, but I have like a half of a jar and I was like, this takes a while to use up. So I didn't get it. Another one. But anyway, this is his preempt series and I haven't tried any of these products. So I went ahead and got, went for the 500 perk of that. Ah, so that brings my Sephora to the end. I got the VIP Rouge brush. Um, so that comes to the end of my Sephora products. So now I have to bring my other box and I'm going to try to hurry this up guys. Cause I know this is getting, I'm all, I'm all done 30 minutes now. So I'll just slide this over and okay, this is a funny story. I'm just going to go right into it. I'm, I'm just going to assume that you all got a cup of tea or something with coffee or whatever. And you're just, you're, you're in for the haul. Um, so anyway, this is a funny story. So no, no Nordstrom, I had like a $40 credit for something uh, from Nordstrom. So I decided to get a skincare product and I wanted to try this Vino Perfect. Um, it's a serum. Yeah, a radiant serum. Um, and I wanted to try it and it's like $70, but I had a $40 credit. So I was like, okay, this is a good thing to get with it. You know, something I really want to try, but it's kind of a lot pricey. That's not even kind of pricey, a lot pricey. Um, so I decided, let me go ahead and get it. Um, so I opened the box and I'm like, gosh, this box is really heavy. And I opened the box and I was like, oh, <laughs> I sent like a text to a couple different people. I was like, look what I got. So this is Nordstrom and somebody made a big old mistake. <laughs> this must be like how they're wrapped three at a time and someone just threw the whole thing in my box. I was like, this box is super, super duper heavy. These, this is one fluid ounce and I got three. So, you know, what do you do? Like, what do I call like Nordstrom? Um, somebody made a mistake. I think a guy did this. I told my husband that he looked at me. I, I think he was a little offended, but I think that somebody that doesn't know skincare could have been a guy, could have been a girl. Um, but somebody that doesn't know skincare was like, this must all be one. So let me just give her all this. I hope I like it. So, okay, these are products. They had a little sale um, on Saks website, um, and you could get, I believe it was 10% off, or was it 10 or 15% off um, beauty? It was more of a percentage for other stuff. Beauty was 10 or 15%, I forget which. So there are a couple things that Sephora doesn't carry that I wanted to check out skincare-wise. Um, some products from India Lee. Um, this is their Brightening Cleanser. I went ahead and picked that up. Um, I had heard good things about this. This is, I've seen on Instagram a lot. It's just part of a lot of people with my skin types regimens and seem to love it. Um, a couple different skin types actually. And this is the uh, toner. It's an India Lee toner and it's a lotion uh, CoQ10 uh, toner. And I had heard a lot about these types of products. Stephanie Nicole mentioned um, the DHC um, CoQ10, I believe, toner, but I wanted to try this one because I had seen this one almost as much. And I don't, I, actually, she mentioned this one in a video too, and I believe she liked it. She liked the DHC one better, but I wanted to try this one just because I had never tried one of those toners before and I wanted to. And I finally got the DHC deep cleansing oil. I've never tried this. I'm the last one in life probably to try this. Everybody tries this and loves this and I had never tried it. So I got that off of Amazon. Um, some other products that I got that I had seen on Amazon and ha were highly raved about. Jordan Samuel Skin. Um, I got his Plie uh, treatment cleanser. I had heard amazing things about this. It's like a jelly type of texture. It You massage, it says massage it thoroughly into dry skin to break down makeup SPF dirt and grime use a warm wet washcloth to remove it move it and his instagram is phenomenal he's very very responsive um and i wanted to try this and i also wanted to try his hydrate facial serum so these are products the second box of products where i kind of went off the reservation so they're from different places in case i didn't announce that properly this i did get from Saks. this is uh tata harper's i hope i'm saying tata I, that's all i could say i don't know how else you could interpret that but anyway it's her essence i wanted to try her essence um a couple people recommended this um this that beauty which my friend follows and loves and i think she's fantastic and her skin looks phenomenal on Instagram. She's a blogger. Um, but anyway, I wanted to try the essence. She highly recommended this and I looked up a lot of different things and it said it was a really great essence. So I wanted to have a couple essences over the next year. So I'm going to have the SK2 because I have like, I've only used about a 
quarter of mine since summer. I'm really, really stingy with it because it is expensive. Um, and I got the huge bottle of it. So this, that, th that, the May Coupe, and this will be my essences. Um, and then um, I also got from that sale the facial treatment oil from SK2. I wanted to try that. Um, this is another thing that I am hoping will be phenomenal from them. I so trust their products, but I will be checking. Remember I told you I wanted to do some oils that I thought might be good for my skin um, other than vitamin C. This is a, a, two other Instagram products, well three. Um, the Glossier, or is it Glossier? Um, their Milky Jelly Cleanser, really, really nice. I'm trying to get away, if you notice, from foaming cleansers um, because I've been hearing a lot about them, like that and the, the, Josh, or the Jordan Samuel product, um, <clears throat> foaming products. I notice in the morning I just don't need foaming. You know, my skin, I need to clean my skin, but I need to gently clean my skin. Um, and especially after makeup, that stuff is good too, um, because I don't necessarily need something foamy. I need something that is going to take the makeup off. It doesn't necessarily need to, you know, strip my skin, you know. I also wanted to try, this is Josh a Rose book, his hydrating accelerator, accelerator. So this was all over Instagram. So I got this to go along with this and the, um, these will be my sprays. And you'll see, I will definitely put that picture up that I told you I would on Instagram where I show you like how I've got everything settled off. This product was so interesting to me now. This is so cool. This is a product I had heard a lot about and seen in a lot of um, videos on YouTube. And it is like a toner. And um, it is a toner, but it is a very hydrating toner. And you put it on your face, um, you put a pea size amount, it says, onto your palm and rub between your hands to heat and then pat into face and it's supposed to add moisture. I got this from Amazon and what's really nice about this is it's all in a different language, but the place I got it from in Amazon, they have it, it, the directions in English for you. $11. I had heard so many amazing things about this and it was $11 on Amazon. It came sealed and I took the plastic off the top so I can open it, but I kept it off on here because that's what the label was stuck to. So I want to be able to read the directions no matter what. So there you go. Another product that um, is again um, really of interest to me and I saw so many times is another uh, um, moisturizing toner and this is from a company called Wam Wamisa and I had seen this so many times. Um, I saw videos that had it in it as well as uh, I've seen it on Instagram a ton of times. And it's just a deep rich, it's fermented. So that's really, really good for your skin uh, toner. And I apply that the same way I just uh, told you I'd apply this one. Big difference in price though, $11 and this one was more like 40. Um, so I'm hoping really, really, really good things for this. Um, some other products I got, uh, this brand is, I was so pleasantly surprised to see this brand is at Ulta. I couldn't believe it. I ordered from another website though, because Ulta was out of stock in a lot of them and it's called, is it Cos RX? But anyway, this cleanser is all over and it's supposed to be really, really nice. It's a low pH, good morning gel cleanser and very inexpensive. I believe this was like $11 as well. Um, that's what I'm loving about a lot of these products that have like this cult following because they're good for your skin are not crazy expensive. There are the, you know, the $40 toners, but cleanser, toner, $11 each, amazing. Um, but anyway, I ordered from this other site that's, that sells their products in the US. Um, if you, you're interested, I'll let you know um, in the comments. But um, CosRx, this, they do have their products at, at Ulta. And um, I got a couple other ones. I got the Advanced Snail 96. This is an essence. It's a snail essence. You know I had to try that. I had told you all uh, in a recent video about the snail masks and how much I love them. So this is a snail essence. So that's another essence. I got four essences for the next year to like splash on my face. This is their oil-free ultra hydrating moisturizer, moisturizing lotion. Again, these products, very, very inexpensive. These products are really, really inexpensive and nice. They're very simple packaging. I like that simple packaging and um, just really, really great reviews I've seen. And this is the AHA, AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner from them. Definitely wanted to try that. 
And uh, the last thing I'm really excited about, and the, probably the first thing that I will use from them, is the Aloe Soothing Sun Sun Cream. This is a SPF 50 plus, no, plus a lot of pluses. Um, this is the sun skin, uh, sunscreen. So I definitely wanted to try this because I am so into sunscreen. Um, what am I using right now? I got one from Lancome um, from Influencer that I, I'm really liking. It, I'm into finding one that isn't oil, doesn't make my skin super oily for because I want it to be under my makeup, you know? Um, this is something I really wanted to try. I got this from Nordstrom too, along with the um, Mistake. This is from Hourglass. It's their Equilibrium. This is the Day Serum. The Ninth, ninth Serum is like $300. I was like, eh, eh. But uh, the Day Serum, it's 1.7 ounces, and it's the Equilibrium um, Day Serum. So uh, there's that. <laughs> That's the container that comes in. This is an SPF 30, so I'm excited about using that in the morning because, um, you know, with this little one, I end up being out in the sun and definitely want to protect my skin. That's another major part of making sure your skincare game is uh, set. So I got all of that stuff, guys. Thank you so much for... <laughs> <laughs> for keeping yourselves up through that. But I also got a ton of stuff from The Ordinary. And I will be trying this out and telling you about these different products in future videos. The highlights that I just want to show you very quickly are that I did get their toner because I'm a crazy skincare lover of PF50. P 50 and that's just an amazing toner it's an acid toner and I've noticed uh, an amazing change in my skin since using it I got a sample like Stephanie Nicole suggested uh, the little small one it was 20 bucks but it's this I'm still using it and amazing changes on my skin so I'm hoping this will be the less expensive replacement because this the large version of p50 is like a hundred bucks and this is like what like eight so we're going to see. Uh, so I got this, and the things that I will be telling you about first from the ordinary are the uh, so-called dupes. So what I did is I got the Good Jeans dupe <laughs> and the Luna dupe and the um, Baby Facial from Drunken Skincare. I had that on my Sephora list. It's $80. But there's a, a, an ordinary uh, version of it. Uh, so I will be telling you about those first because I want to be able to tell you, hey, this $10 product, not bad, not bad in comparison to, you know, pay paying $80. So um, where is it? Let me see if I can just show you that. Okay, here it is. This is the one that's supposed to be like the baby facial from Drunken Elephant, and it's purple, and it's the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. You leave it on your skin for 10 minutes, and um, it's supposed to make your skin, skin soft as baby butt, baby's butt, a baby's butt. I guess that's why they call it baby facial, right? Um, so I'll definitely be telling you about that, and the, what is the, uh, the advanced retinoid 2%, I believe this is the one that is the same as, remember I have a cold, I hope I'm quoting the right things, this is the one that's supposed to be very, very similar to uh, Luna and people compare it to so I'll be telling you about that um yeah so those are the the highlights the other stuff is like caffeine solution I'll try that under my eyes and let you know if that's a good you know thing to use under your eyes I got the uh rose hip seed oil um I heard that's a great oil to use on combination skin that was recommended highly in uh, YouTube videos by several people the buffet is supposed to be an amazing product no matter your skin type, um, it's just got amazing things in it. Uh, it's a peptide serum, so it's got amazing things in it that are really, really good and beneficial for your skin. Um, I believe, is this the one? The lactic acid 10% HA plus two, HA 2%. This might be the one that's good genes, like similar to or a so-called dupe for. Um, I is this the one? I think this is the one. I can't think. It's the cough medicine. But anyway, those are the ones I'm going to be reporting back to you first in review videos about. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I didn't want to make this super duper long, and I know it was anyway, but I thank you so much for watching. I hope you really had fun with your Sephora cell purchases. I will be letting you know about mine. You know, and um, there should be new makeup on our, our horizon soon, so I'll be telling you about that as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day, uh, weekend, if you're watching this on the weekend. If you're not, have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support you guys give me, and uh, it's fun hauling with you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.